so we are back with another video today's video is sponsored by the online makeup academy i was fortunate enough to actually enroll into the advanced makeup program y'all and let me just say i am so in love they have different makeup courses you can take as you can see they also have the live zoom makeup classes kind of like how i would do on facebook go live and show you guys like the deeds of you know doing makeup and everything like that so they have the master makeup class the advanced makeup class the special effects the intro to makeup body face paint all type of stuff right makeup program my instructor name was Paulina and she taught me different things as far as like creative makeup I learned about period makeup HD makeup high fashion editorial nude makeup photo shoots all type of things to just better the artistry and y'all you actually get homework assignments like I haven't done homework in so <laughs> long but it's easy homework as far as like recreating makeup looks that you learn about I love how with each video there's like a manual there's a guide to help you further along the way as far as like recreating your makeup applications so it like has step by step the concealer the eyeshadow everything there is to know is down in basically like the description box they also give you the option to actually talk with your instructor or if you have any questions they're willing to help so that's definitely definitely a plus for me as well favorite part about the course was learning like the business side of being an mua marketing and just branding yourself and also the period makeup learning and seeing how makeup has transitioned and just changed over time like during the 1920s to the 1930s the 1960s up until the 2000s and now it's 2022 and makeup is still going strong okay if not better than before so i'm gonna take some of the things that i learned throughout the course and apply it to the makeup look we're gonna do today i saw this twiggy inspired look on the makeup course but i wanted to add more so i went on google and found a picture with twiggy and this flower on her eyes so i was like yeah let's do that so let's get started okay y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows this is the look i'm going for today so although my instructor did just a black and white eyeshadow look i wanted to put more pizzazz to it and put my creativity to the test so it's kind of like i'm doing a twiggy inspired makeup look and i'm also incorporating the creative makeup that i learned about into this as well and cut crease colorful all of that jazz y'all know i love color I love all things makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this eyebrow. I only carved out one because the other side of my face is gonna be covered in paint. So to make sure that my brow hairs lay flat, I'm taking that got to be gel and I'm gonna smooth my brow hairs out for whenever I apply my paints. So I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place. I will have the products that I'm using in my description box if you guys are interested in knowing what I used. But I wanted to make sure that I kept this out of my face pretty simple. I didn't want to overdo it because, again, this is going to be a bold look on my opposite side. So I wanted to tone everything down, basically. So I want to make sure that I carve out my brows really, really precise. So I'm still putting my twist to it. I'm just going to say this is Twiggy with a twist. And I, I feel like I have more of like that drag-inspired makeup technique like whenever i do my makeup i love drag a lot of people don't like drag but with the course i'm actually glad to see someone else do you know their technique with makeup everybody doesn't do their makeup like how i do my makeup or vice versa so it was good for me to actually expand my horizons and see how it's done from a professional standpoint because you know as you guys know i'm not an mua i could be one but i choose not to be but i just like creating content for you guys so yeah i got it from a mua's perspective of like how to do a client's face if i had models or whatever like that and maybe in the future i may have models come on my channel and like 
you know, I do different looks on other people because everybody's face isn't the same. Everybody's skin type isn't the same. You know, I learned about all of that in the makeup course. So I'm going to just take my fingers and blend that concealer out. And I'm also going to take this Milk Hydro Grip Primer to prep and prime my face. That's another thing I learned. Of course, I know certain things, but you know, it's it's never too much learning in the world. Like I, I love makeup, so I'm willing to, to learn everything there is from anybody. I like to grow and I like to, again, expand my horizons. So you always wanna make sure that your face is clean and prepped. You wanna make sure your products are up to date. You wanna make sure that your brushes are clean. All of that plays a part in your artistry. So now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier and I'm going to basically dry my brow down. I don't want it to be too moist or whatever. And I'm going to pat it to make sure I kind of can camouflage it. So this was the difficult part for me, you guys. I'm not used to doing like the effects on my face. I'll do a cut crease here and there. But as far as like drawing and like the FSX type of makeup, that's not me. But I'm kind of glad I actually gave it a shot. So I'm just taking the same brow pencil from Ruby Kisses and I just lightly sketched out a flower. My flower ended up being bigger because of course I have a fat face, I have a round face and I still wanted to put like a modern twist to that look. Keep in mind that's a super duper old picture. So I just made it 2022 friendly, okay? So yeah, we're just gonna sketch out the, I kind of made like a cloud, honestly. And this is gonna be my guideline to know like where to put my paints and everything. So after I do that, I'm gonna go back in with the other side of my face and I'm gonna use this concealer from Makeup Revolution. And I'm gonna allow that concealer to get tacky before blending it out. In the meantime, between time, I'm gonna take my ABH foundation. Y'all, I finally went and bought a new foundation because you know, the one that I bought prior to this was a cool tone, but this time this one is a warm tone. And I really, really love this foundation. I don't see a lot of people actually wear it or talk about it, but I absolutely love it. It's very rich and creamy. It gives like that radiant effect. So if you're a dry skin, gel this will definitely work for your skin type if you're oily do not get this okay and they also cover that as well you know knowing oily skin dry skin just different techniques okay so yeah we're just gonna tap 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 pat 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 swiper no swiping and one thing that i learned you guys like i was so interested in what i learned that i actually started doing my own research on makeup like the origin of makeup and you know i found out of course i already knew but i found out that makeup originated in egypt with like the egyptians and the pharaohs and cleopatra like all of that it was just so amazing to just read about it and just just learn like i love makeup so i just stayed on my phone just reading and reading and reading and i found out that like the eyeliner that they do it comes from cold which is like lead copper a bunch of other stuff metal and they just crush it together and it's considered cold and i also learned that cleopatra she actually used beetles like she grounded beetles up to make her lipstick <laughs> so yeah anyways back to the tutorial i'm gonna take this mega liner from wet and wild and create that line twiggy has like that sunken eye look and i was actually following along with my instructor on this part Although she didn't do this step right here, I still wanted to use it as a guide on what to do. So I just placed my eyeshadows and I'm going to go back into some black eyeshadow to define and kind of smoke out the black. And I've always admired like Twiggy, especially like with me watching America's Next Top Model and I remember them doing like twiggy inspired makeup looks with the photo shoots and i was like oh my god i really really love how that looks like it's simple but it's still like iconic you know like it's just so pretty so yeah these are colors or this is a look that i wouldn't normally do but again you know this was fun like it was very creative and i also decided to put more of a spin to it so i added some white glitter 
on top of this and I went back in and just kept defining the um, slight cut crease I guess you could say this is like a cut crease I'm gonna use my dual lash glue to adhere the glitters it's hard to kind of see them on camera but trust me it was really cute so I'm just taking this random paintbrush and tapping the glitter onto the lid then I decided to use my fingers like whenever it comes down to glitter I like to use my fingers I was trying to be all fancy but tap with your fingers okay <laughs> and then now I'm gonna create another tight line type wing and that was it for that I, I applied my lashes and everything coming soon from Airy Winkle I use style vivacious today So my instructor actually did the bottom half of the eye as well, but I didn't want to risk it and mess up. So I just applied my Believe Beauty Caviar Liner and put some mascara on and that was it. So now we're going to go ahead and put the concealer on. It actually didn't take me that long to do this makeup look. I was really enjoying it. I was just vibing to my music and just, just chilling. And I kept, you know, I had my phone out with the picture right there to kind of refer back to it to make sure that I wasn't doing too much. So yeah, I'm just gonna blend that concealer out. That sponge was on the dry side and like I said, it didn't take long because honestly, I was only really technically doing one side of my face. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and lock that concealer in place with my ABH and I'm making sure that I really press that powder into the skin. And then I'm also gonna slightly bake with the translucent honey powder from Laura Mercier as well. Once I have my lashes on, now it's time to really set the face. And y'all, the Ulta here in South Carolina has Fenty now. Well, I know all Ulta's have it, but it's rare for where I live to have like exclusive, exclusive stuff. So I was definitely hyped about that. That was shade Coconati. And now I'm gonna take my Eriwinkle liners. I'm still debating if I wanna sell these or not. And I say the quality is top tier. Like, if you guys didn't know, I always used to use, like, acrylic paint. But I feel like this is a safer alternative. And look at that. Look at the pigment. And that's only one passing. I didn't have to go in and keep adding layer after layer after layer. That's just one pass, one stroke. And I just used a regular paintbrush, y'all, from Walmart that came in the little kits that you can get from the arts and crafts section. And... Yeah, I just carved it out and I took my time. I really, really had fun creating this look. So I will definitely be doing more like 3D effects and stuff in the future, especially around like Halloween because I really enjoyed it. Like I thought it was gonna come out ugly, you guys, no lie. I was like discouraged and I was afraid, but I was like, you know what? No, let's put it to the test. Cause I could always do that that same white and black shadow on both eyes but once I saw that picture and I did my research I was like yeah I got to try this look and I put my little twist to it and it was a success and honestly that's what makeup is about to me like it's about creativity it's like a my comfort place when everything else is chaos it's peace to me like I learned about the different eras of makeup the different types of makeup like the period makeup the bridal makeup creative makeup and I feel like that's what I do most creative makeup HD makeup editorial makeup it talks about photo shoots your appearance as a MUA your pricing all of that how to get clientele just being professional and building your portfolio and I always encourage people to really invest in their talent invest in their gift 
if you don't hear me say anything else when I'm really trying to inspire people, I want people to know like, hey, your talent can make room for you. Makeup is my talent. Beauty. I love all things beauty and hair related. I feel like that's my niche. That's my talent. And I use that to, you know, better my, my future and I can pay my bills with, you know, doing videos and getting sponsorships and things like that. Like take a bet on you. Maybe a makeup course can actually, you know, push you to the point to where, okay, hey, I can start taking clientele. Even if you start off by charging $25 and then build your, your, your talent up, build your skill up to where you can charge $100 a face or $200 a face. You can do celebrity makeup. Like the list goes on and on and on. You can just expand your horizons, sell products. Like I started off doing my makeup like on Facebook and did lives and then I, I started posting pictures on Instagram and then everybody told me to take a shot on YouTube and then you know I'm not where I want to be but now it's like wow I look back and say wow I've come so far I've expanded I've evolved and I feel like I've done that and you guys are watching me do it and it just makes me feel good to know like I'm even in the process of having my own makeup line my own business like when I say I eat, sleep, and breathe makeup, it saved me and it changed my life literally. All because I learned how to do a makeup look and I taught other people, thousands of people, how to do their makeup, whether it was eyebrows or doing eyeshadow. I've inspired people from around the world that I've never even met before through makeup. I've had the opportunity to even work with big brands and been sent PR packages even now have the actual opportunity to even take a, a, a full course because someone noticed my talent it makes you feel good knowing like wow I'm getting sponsorships and I'm getting promotions and all of that because of a talent like and with you guys as well supporting me like it really does mean a lot to me and I was actually shocked that Someone actually took the time out to message me and say, Ariel, we would love for you to actually take this makeup course. I absolutely love that. And they even sent me a welcome video, y'all. Like, they were so nice, so sweet. And they told me that I could watch as many as I wanted to, to just cover whatever I wanted to tell you guys, what I learned. Like, I really, really enjoyed taking this course i love working with genuine and sweet companies it just makes the job not even feel like i'm working literally makeup is like a hobby but i get paid to do it and i'm not saying that to brag or anything i'm saying it to inspire somebody maybe someone is watching my video and maybe you feel as if like hey I'm not getting noticed or hey i'm not getting the sponsorships you got to keep going I've been doing makeup for close to four or five years now, but those first few years I did not get paid at all. But it was it was my job. I just didn't get paid for it. Just off the bat, you gotta develop. You gotta you gotta work your way to getting your check. And it's not always about the money. You gotta have the passion for it. So yeah, I said a whole lot, a whole lot of. <laughs> but yeah, I was just inspired to say that. Just watching those videos and stuff from the course like it was like wow wow like this is my life i get to work with big brands and and just it's just wow okay <laughs> why y'all let me talk your head off and i explain what i was doing okay but anyways i use paint in the center of the flower and then i'm just gonna lock the paint in place with my eyeshadows i absolutely love this purple y'all like i wanted to make my flower more of like a three gradient effect so yeah i use different um variations of purple to give it like that blended type of look and i made sure to tap all colors together and i try to zoom in for y'all okay so y'all could really see what i was doing so really i just started tapping the color on and then i ended up um, blending afterwards but I wanted to just stamp it on to make sure that nothing looks runny and muddy and just icky looking we want to make sure that we lock that in place kind of like how you would do with your concealer the eyeshadow is 
basically the setting powder and the paint was the concealer. So once I stamped and had my basics down, now it's time to really blend those shadows together. And that's where detailed brushes, those small, small brushes come into play. You want to make sure you have detailed brushes in your makeup kit as well. Oh, and they talk about that as well, y'all. The products and your makeup kits and all of that jazz. All of that is covered in the course. Also, whenever you complete the course, you actually get a certificate of stating like, hey, I finished the makeup course. And you also get discounts on brands like ABH, NYX, so many different brands, you guys. So who don't like to save money? Save your coin, okay? I'm not sure if you can use like, if, if they send you like some type of card or anything. I'm assuming so, or if not, you'll probably get like some sort of discount code once you complete the course, but yeah. So we're just gonna blend this out. And this is a wet and wild brush I got from Five Below, y'all. And I really, really like it. I bought like five of them because they're really, really good to get like up in those little corners. It's just very detailed. So I'm just doing circular motions to blend that dark purple out. We don't want it to just stay stuck like that. We want to make sure everything just dispersed really even and just nice and smooth. And the same thing with the other two shades. We're going to do the same thing, tap and apply and just swirl and blend. So once I have the inside of the flower completed, now it's time to actually do the red border. And I'm using my Eriwinkle liners as well. I love how vibrant these liners are, y'all. They are literally so easy to use and they actually wipe off really, really easy as well. And I made sure to have a lot of concentration, y'all. This calls for a steady hand. So even if you are a little shaky, just take your time and know how to position your brush as well. Even if you have to slightly hold your breath and like, y'all see how I have my mirror kind of at an angle. I don't like to put it like eye to eye to me. I like to slant my mirror so I can really, really see what I'm doing. I like to go below instead of above. It just, I don't know, it makes a difference for me. But yeah, I made sure to take my time, even if you want to create like little sketches, little dots, and then connect them. If that's easier for you, do that. But you want to make sure that you literally take your time, okay? And I'm literally using just the tip of that brush. I don't want to use the whole body of the hairs from the brush, just the tip portion. And then the areas that needs to be like thickened, that's when I went in and actually used the body of the brush.
okay y'all so at this point i was so confident in myself i was like wow i did it like we did it we did it we did it yay i was so happy because i'm not used to doing looks like this and it was very precise of course the flower wasn't even even on twiggy it wasn't even so i didn't want to make mine too even okay i just had fun with it and i feel like most times whenever you're just vibing and you're not trying to be perfect that's when the look comes out completely perfect to me like you just gotta vibe and just be in good positive energy you know I'm going to attempt to make like a gradient effect to give it more detail and more definition, more of like that 3D pop out, pop art type of look. So yeah, I added a dark green eyeshadow from out that Lisa Frank palette. And then I decided to take that shimmer green shade from out that palette as well. And it was so pretty in person. Like I wish my camera was really picking up on like that green, that variation of green. It was so gorgeous. And that's pretty much it, you guys. All there's left is to do the liner, put the mascara on, and pop the lashes on. And we got the hard stuff out the way. Oh, and I did go in and kind of mute out the red because I felt like it was a little too shiny. I didn't want it too, too shiny in all areas. So I left some petals shiny, but then I muted some as well with the red eyeshadow from the Lisa Frank palette. And then I just went back and forth within the flower to just add more of a gradient. Whatever I lost, I put back. And now we're just using the Believe Beauty Liner, some mascara. And I'm also going to put the liner on my lash line and pop my lashes on. course I can't leave out the freckles because Twiggy has freckles so I ended up using my wet and wild semi brown nail pencil and I just kind of did like slight lines not really dots but dot lines if that makes sense but I made sure to leave them very light I didn't want to do too too much I don't want it to be like overpowering just like that and we're just gonna blend them and I kept my lips simple as well, y'all. I lined it slightly and I used just a basic gloss and that was it.
hey y'all we are finished so i hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as i enjoyed creating it thank y'all so much for always supporting me and thank you online makeup academy for sponsoring my video and actually letting me take a course like you guys are the bomb okay so this is the inspired look and this is what i came up with i hope you guys love it because i do like oh my gosh <laughs> but yeah i will have all the links listed down below if you guys are interested in taking the makeup course so yeah if you guys have any other inspired looks you want me to try let me know and i will catch y'all in my next one bye y'all